Hey everyone, it's your streamer Simone here and welcome and welcome back to my channel. Um, I am here to do a nighttime get ready with me routine and just to share with you like my little self-care nighttime, make a little quick dinner in this video. So it's a little nighttime routine. Firstly, I need to take off this makeup. I did film a chit chat get ready with me, which you probably already seen that video. I want to take off my lashes. Um, I think I could pull them off yeah because i didn't have them on for too long so i'm getting over a cold right now i know i sound crazy that's such a dramatic difference right there i have two choices here the garnier micellar cleansing water the rose water or the vitamin c um they both remove makeup i'm gonna do the brightening because i've really been on like brightening um, i'm also gonna be doing skincare in this video so I'm just gonna use this to remove my makeup. I did a lot of makeup today. So I'm gonna also do like a, a dry cleanse. Ooh, that was a lot. I always hate when my eyebrows go. Look, look at that. I look so different without my eyebrows. I'm really thinking about microblading because your girl don't got no eyebrows. At least I got my self-esteem. See, I only used like two pads and it's literally almost off. And I love how my skin still feels like it doesn't feel dry. So now I'm gonna use the La Roche-Posay Purifying Foaming Cleanser. And I'm just gonna like kind of dry cleanse with that. And when I say dry cleanse, which is probably like not even the correct term, I'm just gonna put it on my face. And this is perfect for removing makeup as well. If you haven't like put your cleanser on like this before, you should definitely try it because it's a game changer. You could really like move the product better like off your face right okay, i'm gonna put this on next i'm gonna take a warm washcloth and just wipe this off see it's coming off being gentle on the eye area so even though you use the micellar water if you do use that you still gotta follow up with cleanser I want to share one of my favorite beauty secrets with you guys that I've recently added to my shower routine and that's the Seema's exfoliating towel. It has completely transformed the way that I take care of my skin. It's designed to promote healthy looking skin by gently removing dead skin cells and other impurities, leaving your skin feeling amazingly smooth and looking radiant. The Seema exfoliating towel has replaced my loofah. The silver infused fibers can 99.9 percent .9 of bacteria it lasts 20 times longer than your loofah it's resistant to mildew odors and bacteria also covers hard to reach places like my back which is really important i've also noticed the hormonal acne that i had on my arms clearing up as well i love using sema's exfoliating towel because it's easy to use and the results are amazing my skin feels smoother and more even and i've noticed a big difference in the way my lotions and serums absorb into my skin and if you're tired of like rough dull and uneven looking skin i highly recommend trying Seema's exfoliating towel it's a game changer for your skincare routine and you won't believe the difference it can make so i will have the link to this product down in the description box below definitely check it out okay so what i recently have been adding to my skincare regimen which you probably already know about which is very popular is the Panoxol acne foaming cleanser. So I also just put this on like a dry cleanser, like just on my skin like that. And I try to focus on like my problem areas, which like I have been breaking out a little bit right here. And like from vomiting and stuff, I have been getting like broken blood vessels and it's really been helping my skin so much. And this is such a game changer. I also use this under my armpits. It was really helping to lighten my underarms. Be careful with this because it will bleach your washcloth or whatever you choose to like wipe it off with. Use something that's like like white like this so i kind of let it sit like on for like like a mask but like you can apply it on wet skin like there's directions on the back of here but i'm just telling you like how it works for me i just let it sit and then i wash it off so even if you do wet your face and you like you're supposed to like rub it in or whatever you're supposed to make it sit stay on for like one to two minutes and then wash it off or it's not gonna work all right so now i'm just going to go ahead and wrap my hair yeah i'm gonna take out my little hairstyle wrapping my hair while it is straight has really helped 
to let it last long, especially through like me sweating, even if a little bit of like water gets on it. Wrapping it has helped to like keep it stretched. So I just part it down the middle. I'm gonna just tell you quickly how I do it. And I'm not like no expert at wrapping hair, okay? I'm actually not even perfect at it. But it gets the job done. It's made my hair last longer than I thought it would. And I, while I'm being sick, sweating out the cold and it's still straight i mean it's not bone straight, but it's straight it's straighter than i thought it would be at this point so i just comb out any little kinks i may have um and this is when i would add oil but i already added oil last night so i kind of come from this part here um i wrap from left to right and go around and i just start combing downwards that to the front and then over I mean, if you already know how to wrap hair, this is not like a big deal. And I don't use pins because I'm a pro. Now I'm playing. I don't use pins because they hurt me. So I just hold it down at the center. I just keep going. And then I wrap around. So it's not gonna be like the most perfect wrap, but as long as it's flat enough to um, get into my head tie, that's all that matters. Just bring it around and cover that part. And I wrap again and hold the middle. I think that's like the key. Putting oil or like a serum before you wrap your hair helps to help it lay. If I had curls, it would lay down even better, but see, it's not a big deal. Molding it and molding it. I just keep molding. I think that there will be quite fine. I have a head tie and like bonnet that I use. When I'm taking a shower, I just wrap it in a different one, like a turban. Cause some way somehow water still gets into it. I promise you. For me, I, I don't. I don't even know why. Yeah, like a little turban thing going, and I just stuff in parts that's out. And this is how I have my hair wrapped, and I put on my shower cap like this, and I am looking like. Miss Daisy. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and take my shower. All right, I'm in my little product overload sanctuary. I just got out the shower and I feel so moisturized. Sema exfoliating towel really made my skin feel so smooth. I love using that towel. I do a little concoction for my skin right now. I do wanna get some body butters for my skin since it's winter. I've been using this retinol lotion. It is the Medix Retinol and Fury. For real leak. Ferulic acid anti sagging treatment is for anti wrinkle, has vitamin A, targets creppy wrinkles and sun damaged skin, and has rapid skin transformation. So I really like this because I'm in my 30s now and I'm like, yeah, I needed that. So I kind of just put that all over my body. So I slipped into something a little comfy. Um, these are just some Target yoga pants and like this pajamas top that I got from Nine West. I use like this concoction of bio oil and the Mederma stretch marks skin protectant for my belly right now. Um, my stomach is still small. I'm 15 weeks, but it's, you know, I'm growing. And like I already had my daughter um, five years ago. <laughs> so like I have stretch marks from her. So I just use some of the bio oil on my already stretch marks and then like I use it as prevention on my stomach so like as I start to get bigger and stretch I won't you know develop new stretch marks although like if you're gonna get it, you're gonna get it but if you keep your skin very moisturized I feel like it helps and then I use the Mederma which is more like a white consistency and then I just kind of finish it off because it's like a protectant, a skin protectant. And I put it on top. Yeah. And that's what I do. And I also put it on my breasts um, as well because my breasts have been growing 
a lot and I don't want to get like any new stretch marks so I use the same concoction on my stomach and on my breasts since they grow a lot and then I do my hips and my butt because you know that's gonna stretch too in the lower half I mean so far this has been working I'm gonna like dibble and dabble into more stuff for the stomach I love to like try different products so right now these are the two that I already had on hand that I've been using until I can um, get more and then I also like to use the bio oil on my face and I didn't do my skincare yet you know I had to come and dry off and stuff I was just sick so I had to dry off and put on my clothes and I'm gonna do my skincare um the bio oil is really great it's great for stretch marks uneven skin tone aging and dehydrated skin scars bio oil is the shizna e we use a cotton round pod pad two of them mixed with the ordinary glycolic acid 7% toning solution and I just put a little and then I rub my underarm show y'all my underarm has been clearing up a lot look how much that's been clearing up I mean I need to do a little shaving it's growing back a little bit but it's cleared up so much it was so dark so this is all I use this toning solution and the panoxyl and I've been doing this for like a week straight and I haven't even been using my native um, deodorant. I haven't been using anything. And I haven't been smelling anything under here. It's been really nice. <sighs> All right, you guys. So I put on my headscarf and um, the infamous bonnet that everyone has. So now I'm going to do my skincare. So I already washed my face with cold water. And I just want to show you how it looks. It is feeling a, just a little dry. More so what dries my lips, okay? Because I've been dehydrated it's because I was, I'm, I was sick. But I do have a little extensive nighttime skincare routine that I feel like has been very effective and helping me besides the Panox. So I'm going to share the products with you and everything, of course, will be listed below. So the first thing that your girl is going to do is um, put on some a retinol. So I got the Coco Kind, the Coco Kind Retinol. And this is the 0.1% retinol for beginners. I also have another retinol by La Roche Posay that I like to use, but that's not really beginner friendly. Apply a thin layer to clean dry skin. Avoid the eye area and the lip areas, and you can use two to three times per week and increase the usage as you can tolerate it. And you wear with sunscreen. So you wouldn't use this product every single day until you get used to it then you would use it like every day. I personally say use it at night because if you use it in the morning, you most definitely have to make sure you put on sunscreen if you're gonna go outside, even if it's winter, um, because you don't want to burn off your face. <laughs> After my retinol, I just go in with my under eye cream. So I got this new under eye cream. Y'all know that I was using the Biosense and I finished it, but I did just discover this Skin Fix Barrier Triple Lipid Boost 360 Eye Cream. It's a moisturizing eye cream that you can put on your under eye, your crease, and your lid. Are you are you are you serious? So it has like this pump, y'all. When I tell you, I'm so happy I discovered this. I had to get it. So I just literally tap it in my under eye, and I've been using it for like a week now. I haven't had any bad reaction because my skin be knowing right away. But when I tell you, you need to get this. This is like absolutely amazing, and I love an eye cream that you can put on your entire eye. Because I never understood eye creams that you cannot put on your entire eye because my lid and my crease and my little crow that's gonna end up coming about is a part of my eye. So like why, <laughs> whatever. Good for moisturizing, but it's also good for dark circles and um, creasing. This is literally a three in one. This is absolutely amazing. I love this so far. Definitely a great addition to my skincare. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize and the Octane moisturizer. It was also a part of the PR that I had got. And this is just like a lightweight one that I just like to put on to layer. Um, It has more like a greenish, greenery type of scent, like plant. It hasn't broke me out in any way. And I've been using it for like a little over two weeks now and I really like it. I'm gonna go ahead and use the um, La Octane Reset Night Serum, which is great for anti-aging and just resetting your face and your skin and it's just very very like moisturizing which I love follow up with the La Roche-Posay night repairing serum um moisturizer put that on top 
this is a thicker moisturizer so that's why i like to like put it on top and then i'm gonna finish it all off with some bio oil this bio oil like you just seen me put it all over my skin like i said it has all these other great benefits so i just put a little bit when i have like the little acne marks going up from my pregnancy and i get like the little broken blood vessels i promise you this bio oil really helps to soothe it and get rid of it and i know that may have just seemed like so much that was like my every Thing, nighttime skin routine <laughs> it's just products that just work together and like sometimes I don't use all of the products I just use some especially when using the panoxyl I want to really like moisturize my face so my bae is home <laughs> at the time he normally is normally dinner is already like chop chop up and running but because like I had to film my stuff but this is a fast dinner, so it's okay. Um, I you take the garlic bread. I got a DIY one. So I don't know how it's gonna come out. He really. Oh, do it yourself. It. Yes. <laughs> um, I got the. Okay, so I take my prenatals at night. It just works better for me. I'll feel a little gaggy in the day if I take it in the day. So this is the one that I take right now. It is the prenatal slash postnatal, meaning you could take it postpartum as well. Multivitamin. I got it off of Amazon and it's the liquid one where I feel like it hits the bloodstream faster. And it has literally everything that I need. Folate, DHA, magnesium, all of that. Except for psyllium. Psyllium I just need for me as a, like my thyroid. But I have psyllium pills. So I give it a nice shake. It is two tablespoons. I got the water boiling back there for the spaghetti. It doesn't have the best taste, but it doesn't make me gag. Um, I also have a pill form that I take, so it's gonna be one tablespoon, babe. You're making me nervous watching me. That's what that look like? Yeah. Why is it orange? I don't know, it's just orange. <sighs> what does it taste like? It tastes like it wanna be like orange juice, but not the good kind. But surprisingly, it doesn't make me vomit. It tastes like sunkiss. You want some? Oh, I don't know. I'm not pregnant. It's just got vitamins. You have to be pregnant. Mm -hmm. ah. I promise you, it's really not that bad. If you are like horrible at taking like horse pills, <laughs> try the liquid. And I feel like liquid just hits your bloodstream faster. I already took my other vitamins separately. Because if I take everything together, I'll feel like I'm going to pass out. But I also take liquid magnesium. This is perfect for those who deal with constipation i take these two right before bed and it also helps with sleeping and it's just i think it's just one tablespoon yeah the serving is one tablespoon it's very thick and milky and it tastes good but i gotta drink water after it because i have to cut the taste wow that's a big mug what kind of cup is that it's a stanley <laughs> charles your lunch is ready <laughs> y'all seen tiktok with miss netta <laughs> Charles! Your lunch is ready. <laughs> Let me start cooking. So I got some spaghetti here. I think that's true. Now I'm like, what am I talking about? I, I, I have a man that can eat. And he loves this right here. Just a little bit of oil so that the spaghetti doesn't stick. I have an onion. If I had a pe bell pepper, this would be perfect, but I don't have any bell peppers and we just gotta do what we gotta do, right? So this is the turkey that I'm using, the turkey smoked sausage, the Shia Farm one, perfect for so many things. And I'm just gonna use the whole thing. Fry it up, add the sauce, put it over the spaghetti. You could put a little Parmesan on top if you want, but I'm gonna try to DIY some garlic bread <laughs> and see how that comes out.
this one. Turn my fire on low, because I'm gonna make it simmer. And I just add a little water to this to catch the rest. Just add it. And then I also love to add a teaspoon of sugar just to cut the bitterness or the saltiness, I should say. About two teaspoons. And I'm just gonna let this simmer for about uh, five minutes while I make my garlic bread. I'm actually gonna be using potato bread, which is actually insane. That's all I have. I mean, I'm not gonna make a lot. Maybe like four tablespoons of butter. Yeah, I'm just winging this right now. Don't judge me. But I'm confident that it will come out nice. I don't have fresh garlic, so I'm gonna be using minced garlic that comes in a container. Oh, I got it open. Oh, it actually smells okay. The serving size on this is one teaspoon. Try to get some of that garlic juice in it. Look at that. Can you see it? Yeah, we'll just use one teaspoon. Garlic powder, probably like one teaspoon of garlic powder. Half a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna put a little bit of the grated Parmesan cheese in it. Maybe like two teaspoons. And then some parsley flakes. I don't have fresh parsley, maybe like, I don't know. This is how it looks like. And I'm gonna mix it all together. So my oven, I preheated it to, oh, I need some oil. Olive oil would be ideal. I don't have olive oil, I only have vegetable. And that's what you're gonna use to kind of make it mushy. So that's my little concoction. I probably need some more oil. This is how my garlic butter looks. I lined my pan with foil paper because that's what I want to do. So, I mean, if it was a thicker bread, we'll see, we'll see. But I just, I don't know how that consistency is gonna taste. So hopefully it comes out okay. What's up, babe? You want a full body massage? Oh, you recording? That would be nice, yeah. <laughs> how many you think, you think this is enough? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna just add this. Ooh, that oven hot, boy. So I'm just gonna cover all of them. So I'm gonna put it in the oven for about 10 minutes. I really wanna watch it at eight minutes and see how it is, maybe 10 minutes, but you could do it 10 to 15 minutes depending how gold and brown you want it. Oh my God. Whoa, is that hot? Okay, <laughs> I forgot to spray the foil, but it actually is okay on the back. Ooh. How did I forget to spray? Oh my, gosh. Oh my gosh. But it smells so good, y'all. But it actually came out pretty crispy and nice. It looks so wait, wait, wait. good. But, but careful. Oh and it smells God. so good. Okay, so I'm complete. This is Lockheed's plate. We got sausage and spaghetti sauce over the spaghetti and the two garlic breads. I just set it up like this. I don't know why. Because he's going to devour it anyway. So here is mine. Right here. I want to taste the bread first. It's like a different consistency because it's on the potato bread, but it's actually not bad. Mila's complaining because she don't like crispy. Mila has her food already. She couldn't wait. Mm -hmm. Nice and smoky. Baby tried your food. No, 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 not yet. You tried the bread? No, 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 not yet. I want your opinion real quick. On the bread? Mm hmm I had to pull this out to win woodworks. I'll keep it gonna die if we didn't have bread today. This garlic bread. Oh, no, it's good. Mmm, that's good. Really? For just making up something? Mm-hmm. Oh. It really tastes like garlic bread. I, I ain't about to say it and talk to them. I'm not going to sit down there. Yeah, I know you want to eat. <laughs> Happy holidays if I don't see y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is going to be up way after Christmas. Oh, so happy holidays, y'all. Feliz Navidad. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm.
You ain't put no Parmesan cheese in yours? I'm gonna put, got my Gatorade, because I've been dehydrated. Mmm. Yeah, I'm about to go sit down and eat. It's normally like this almost every night. Usually dinner is already made, but if I'm going to do a quick dinner, I can do it a little late. It's not a big deal because it'll be hot and ready for him by the time he comes home from work and already showered. He just came out of the shower. But if it's like a dinner that's going to take longer, I have to make it in advance and then I just put it in the microwave for him and he has to heat it up. And yeah, y'all, know, I hope you enjoyed this nighttime get unready with me routine. Thumbs up the video for more and um, happy holidays. Happy New Year. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.